Hey YouTube, welcome to Everyday Journey. Uh, today we're going to review this little beast of a saw. This is the, uh, the steel uh, MS-193T and uh, let's go over it real quick. Alright, this is pretty much how it came to me. Um, just bought it new. Thing cost about, uh, I'll say about 350 bucks. Um, a lot more expensive than my previous saw that I was using, but a lot better. Um, this thing is, uh, well this is what it comes with. It comes with the, uh, the tool to be able to take off your bar. Uh, it comes with, of course, the, uh, the bar cover, bar and chain cover. Uh, it comes with the uh, little adjustment screwdriver. And it comes with a English and Espanol. Uh, little, uh, well actually it's not really little. This thing is pretty thick if you look at it, um, but it's half and half English Espanol, and uh, that's the that's the manual for it. <clears throat> but this thing is, they say what 1.84 cubic inches, uh, 30.1 cc engine here. Um, it actually has quite a bit of power. I was thinking that it wouldn't have as much as it does, but so far I haven't had a problem with it. I've already taken down a whole tree, and. Uh, only thing I didn't cut with this is obviously the uh, uh, the, the big parts of the trunk. Um, but as far as up in the tree, taking all the branches down and everything else, uh, I use this thing and I only used one and a half tanks of gas in it. Um, so I guess one and a half tanks of oil as well, um, since it kind of uses it about you know one to one ratio roughly uh, as far as the tank goes. Um, it holds 9.1 fluid ounces of gas and uh, so we've got our gas here and our oil and, uh, and it holds 7.4 fluid ounces of oil uh, it actually surprisingly is, is you know pretty it seems like anyway pretty fuel efficient because uh, I didn't use very much at all for all that uh, the biggest thing about this thing or the two biggest things about this is the weight the weight is only 7.3 pounds, um, of course, without the bar and the chain. Um, but that's a tremendous difference compared to what I was using. I was using a, a Pull and Pro 18-inch uh, saw. Uh, the thing is, uh, man, it, it weighed a ton. And the and the big thing about the other saw is you actually had to use it two-handed. I would use it up in a tree. It was rare that I ever used it one-handed and uh, the uh, this one-handed operation granted you really do need to use two hands but uh, in case that you need to you can use one-handed operation like this. It's it's pretty well balanced. Um, this thing is is great for that. Uh, it, I didn't even sharpen it. Um, like I said, two and a half tanks of gas. I typically will sharpen it with every single tank that I put in, but I was so close to being done with that part of the tree that I just went ahead and filled it up and finished it. Um, but I haven't even sharpened it yet. The uh, the only things, well, I'll show you more of what I do like about it. Um, I love these. These, these uh, caps. These are great. Uh, my other one. They, uh, these, these just flip up and turn. If you've got gloves on, you can do it. Um, probably should be wearing gloves if you got, you know, you're working with the fuels. And um, but the other saw that I have, actually my other two saws, it always seems like those were sticking and, and didn't want to. Uh, I mean, I'd have to break out the pliers to actually, you know, get these things off at some point. But these right here are easy. They just flip up and and turn. Just lift it up course just like most everything they've got the little uh, string in there to keep it make sure you don't lose the cap because that could be done pretty easily um, the uh, started up great it was a little diff little little it was a little bit of a learning curve because this is a uh, let's see this is the stop position that would be the run position and uh, in order to get it to starting position you actually have to hold this all in, hold the trigger in, and then pull this back and then let go and it will stay right there. That's the starting position. Um, and then you go and, and flip this. This is your choke. And now you just give it a few pumps of gas and fire it up. Once 
once it uh, once it starts up, then of course you put the choke back, and uh, and you'll probably I mean as soon as you squeeze the trigger, that's going to go back to there. So you may have to start it again, um, but that'll that'll get it running for you. So I haven't done anything else with it. Your air filter would be back here. Haven't even taken this off yet. Oh man, that's that's simple. I mean, just one one turn there. Um, but you got your air filter right there. Uh, looks like the spark plug would be a little difficult to get to, or at least to remove this to be able to, you know, to change the spark plug or clean it if you had to. Um, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. You got the D-ring here. This right here is great. <clears throat> I mean, it's small there. I, I looked at it. I was like, man, that's pretty flimsy for a three hundred dollar saw. But um, you know, it it's only got to hold the weight of the saw. Really, truly, it'd be best that it does break away in the case that you'd get it caught, snagged, or some reason. I mean, you don't want it pulling you down out of the tree. So anyway, you got your uh, your D-ring there, and uh, and of course here's your your chain break. So, uh, I haven't even, well, I did actually have to take this off to, or take it loose anyway to uh, tighten the chain because when I bought it, I got it from, from these guys here over in Oliver Springs, Tennessee, and uh, they, they gave it to me just the way it was, basically, and the chain was really, really, really loose, so I just went ahead and tightened it up, but, I mean, it's simple. You just loosen this, go ahead and put your tool in here, and tighten that tighten your adjustment screw up to uh, to get your chain to uh, to tighten up for you but like I said this thing's a beast like I say here's your adjustment screwdriver in case you need to adjust the, uh, the throttle or the idle um, but it came to me idled just perfectly it works great um, the only downside I think to this is this trigger or this uh, you know it, it, whenever you need to cut it off you push it forward like this but it seems like it's a little far to get it to I mean right now it's this is about where I would hold it and to put my thumb up there and push it down it was just a little awkward you know if you wanted the saw off it'd be better that that was a little easier to get to um, but once you learn it it, uh, it works out great so um, this is this is my beginning review on this uh, if you guys have any comments about it, definitely feel free to uh, to you know send them my way. Love to answer any questions you got. Um, but for for an arborist, this thing may not be the most powerful saw, but it definitely cuts. I mean, it's I've got no problems with the power. The only time I ever saw it kind of bog down at all is whenever I was cutting something pretty wide and I got the tip into it here and. Uh, then, then you would notice it bogged down a little bit, but it was no big deal, you know. You're not supposed to be cutting anything really that big with it anyway. So, um, the uh, you know I, I got no problems with the power itself. The the thing I love about it the most is the fact that it's so light and the fact that you can operate it one-handed. If you need to reach out, you know I'm sitting here holding it out in front of me, no big deal. Reach out and cut something in front of you, you can with one hand. So uh, let's see. 
if you guys got any questions, send them my way. Uh, as I use this more, I will film it in operation. Um, please don't dog me too much about the, uh, you know, the practices that I do because it may not be the safest, but it's what I do, and you know, you guys will do something different. So feel free to leave comments, like if you like my channel, subscribe to the channel. Uh, still got that uh, competition out there for you guys. If we make it up to 100 subscribers, I will take that expansion tank that I've got that's full of probably nasty water and and it will be dumped over my head as soon as we get 100 subscribers. Yeah, it's I'm not really looking forward to it, but like I said, it's just a fun little thing and uh, it won't hurt me. I can always take a shower, but I'm not looking forward to that part, but if we get there, I promised you that and that's what I'll do. So you guys have a good day.